Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make ourselves a cauldron to start with and uh, probably head on back to our black forest base and start working on that some more. So let's see here. I brought back a whole bunch of copper, but I think I've probably already smelted it. So yeah, we've got a full stack of copper, we have a full stack of tin, and then quite a bit more beyond just that. So let's start by making the cauldron. Um, I wonder, I don't know if we'll be able to make put the cauldron in the cooking stations in the same fire or not. Let's go ahead and take one of, well actually let's take both of those out. And then we'll put one back, we'll, see, we'll put one back in but off to the side. And see if it lets us do this. I don't know if it will or not. So this has to go... That's about as far this way as it can come. Um, actually, wait a minute. I want to put... I want to actually hold this on to this side. Right... There. Okay, so we'll take this one back out. And to make the cauldron, we need tin, tin. Okay. Let's get that piece of wood out of there. Let's see if it lets us do this. Yep, yeah, looks like we can. Nice. All right. We got ourselves our, our first cauldron. Now, uh, if we open this up, these are the recipes that we can learn from the cauldron. I actually did this on the multiplayer server last night, so that's why I already know them. Uh, so sausages requires some thistle and some raw meat and then two entrails. And we just happen to have two entrails from a couple of droggers. Uh, oh, it needs raw meat. Okay. We'll have to go get some raw meat because I don't have any. Uh, but I also want to make the jam. Um, so it takes eight of each type of berry. And I, I have a full stack of, of both that I've been kind of saving up here. So let's just make as much jam as we can from all the berries that we have. And you, we get four per, per thing. So this is pretty good food. Um, it has a 1,200 second duration gives us 30 health, 40 stamina, two hit hit points per tick. Look at that. Okay, so that we made uh, 24 jars of jam. Very nice. I love it. I've been, uh, you know, spent quite a bit of time off camera doing stuff. I want to I want to show you my mine uh, too. It's basically turned into a strip mine. Um, so for the sausages, we need. Oh, we only need one raw meat. And we should have four thistles up here, too. Yeah, we have eight thistles. Okay, so let's just go out and kill something. Either a boar or a deer. There's a deer right there. And that should give us the one meat we need to make the sausages. Do we get the meat? Yeah. So what I ended up doing is I I set up another portal up at our, our north base, uh, right up here. And then I just re-tagged this north camp and connected it to that one. But what we'll do is we'll change the name of this one back to Trader Base, which is the one that we have down south. And we can just kind of switch it up as needed. Let's grab uh, four of these and uh, did we already grab the entrails? No, we didn't. Okay. And let's make some sausages with the Draugr entrails. Sounds tasty. Nice. Okay. So we get four of those. So this gives us uh, three hit points per tick. It lasts for 1600 seconds which is even longer than the, the jam. 60 health, 40 stamina. 30 health, 40 stamina. So yeah, this is some really good stuff. All right, 
let's look at something here really quick. The uh, honey gives five hit points per tick. So this is still the best healing food, but it doesn't. It only lasts for 300 seconds is the problem with it. So, okay, cool. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to put um, 14 of those in there, and we'll just carry a one stack whoops, of those with us. And we have the sausages, but, you know, we only have four of those. So I've also been farming up um, some uh, some necktail. And so once the sausages wear out, then we'll replace them with the necktail. But the, we'll, these will be our three foods that we'll eat for now. So that, that's some pretty good food. Moving up in the world for sure. Okay, so let's see here. We want to... Uh, oh, I know what else I was going to do. Well, let's wait until we actually leave before we we eat, so that way we can stretch it out. Um, I wanted to make a uh, this at gear thing. Uh, my son and daughter were playing with me on this on a multiplayer server last night, and my son was using this, and uh, it looks like it's a pretty good weapon. It's got good AOE. It has both pierce and slash damage. Uh, well, it says pierce. Yeah, I don't know. It says pierce damage here, but it, it, that's pretty good pierce damage. But it's also got kind of like an AOE. It's got the knockback, backstab, that sort of thing. So um, let's make this and try it out. Uh, the, the, I've, whoop, I can't talk. I retired is what I'm trying to say. This guy, because it just, it does okay, you know, with skellies, but it doesn't do very good on gray dwarfs. And that's what we're fighting more than anything else. Uh, the axe does pretty good on gray, gray dwarfs, but so does this spear, because I was ch checking it out. So let's make that as our next weapon, and then we'll see where we're at with... Oh, oh I want to make a cultivator, too, so that we can start making... Um, what does this require? Five bronze and five core wood. So we can start making uh, a garden and carrot soup and that sort of thing. So cultivator requires five bronze, and the at gear requires eight bronze. Okay. Before we make all the bronze, though... Oh, we can make arrowheads, too. Bronze arrowheads. Sharper than flint, a sleek messenger of death. So that has a piercing of 32 versus 27. Those would be nice to have, and we will eventually make them, but I don't know that I want to spend bronze on that yet, because we, we don't have an abundance of it quite yet. The bronze spear... So that has a pierce of 35. This has a pierce of 45. But of course, it's more expensive to make, too. Okay, so we need 8 bronze. Let's grab our stuff out of here. I'm, I'm, again, I'm going to try and be somewhat conservative. I don't want to just go hog wild on this. So we'll make 5. And then we'll do 3 more. We'll just make what we need. All right, now we also need 10 normal wood and two leather scraps. We're over encumbered here. We'll get the two leather scraps here and 10 normal wood. And let's make it. Okay, cool. So, that is now going to go into our number one slot. I don't think, because this is a two-handed weapon, though... Oh, we got all this metal in our inventory. That's why we're so heavy. Because this is a two-handed weapon, we can't use a shield with it. But it does this, like, sweeping attack when you do the power attack. It uses a pretty significant amount of stamina. Of course, our stamina is kind of low because of our food right now. But, and, but then it also does this little kind of thrusting attack. And we can parry with it, too. So we'll try this out. Um, I'm going to keep the shield with me. I, I did make a copper axe. Uh, I'm sorry, a copper knife on the server. But I started using the axe more just because it does more damage against the gray dwarfs. But I think I'll hang on to this because it's supposed to be really good at sneak attacks. Now, what else do we have here? What does it take to upgrade this? Four more bronze. That'll upgrade it to 51 pierce and whatever other 
benefits it has. This has a 10% move, uh, movement penalty as well. Okay, uh, let's see. What else? What other options, though, do we have? We want, might want to start thinking about some armor, but before we do that, I want to make a, a cultivator. So we need to make five more bronze for that. Um, craft bronze. What are we short on? Oh, we need 10 copper. I put it in the wrong place. There we go. Man, it, it, it takes a long time to get these resources in this game, man. It is no joke. And then we need five core wood as well. Okay, so let's put all this back in here. And we'll grab some five core wood out of here. It's funny that the the at gear only requires normal wood, but the cultivator requires core wood. Oh, we put did we put the bronze in here? Yeah, we did. All right, let's make ourselves a cultivator. Very nice. Cultivate grass and carrot, and sapling and pine sapling and beech sapling. Excellent. So what does that leave us now with metals? We still have 25 copper and 13 tin left. So what would be the next most important thing that we would want to make? Uh, we could make a bronze sword. That's a slash of 35. But so, did, so does the axe. So I don't know. why. If the axe fulfills the same... purpose as the sword why would you bother with the sword at all the sword's more durable like quite a bit more durable and it's got more of the uh no the axe actually has higher 15 to 26 i think that's like the variation in damage i think uh or may no maybe that's the bonus damage that it does if you're against a, a susceptible, like a weak opponent kind of thing. This has a block power of 10. Block of 10. Parry force of 20. Something's changing down here. Backstab. Knockback of 40. Knockback of 50. I mean, the axe seems like it's a superior weapon in pretty much every way. And it's also an axe that you can use to cut trees down. So why would you even bother with a sword? I don't, I don't get it. What am I missing here? The only thing that the sword does better than the axe is durability, which, you know, is something. And it's it's a lot less, oh, it's it's not as heavy either, so. But the axe, I think, is the superior weapon aside from those two things, which are not super significant in my opinion. Okay. So the other thing we could look at is um, a buckler and a mace. The mace is supposed to be really good against skeletons. But the axe does pretty good against skeletons too. And this at gear might also. Um, so we could do a buckler. We could do the armor. The, th the thing about the armor though is that it's going to it's gonna slow us down quite a bit. So by like 10% with both pieces. And then if we add the helmet. Well the hel I guess the helmet doesn't slow us down. Plus we lose our our uh, stealth bonus by, you know, keeping the troll set on. So I think I might hold off on doing the armor for the moment. So let's look at then, if, if we're not going to make anything else for the moment, let's look at upgrades. So we would need four more bronze to upgrade that, four more bronze, and a, a one more thing here to upgrade the axe. What about the pick? The pick, the durability on the pick kind of sucks with mining um so right now it has uh, 120 durability if we upgraded it to level two it would be 170 so it would last longer because i keep having to repair the doggone thing uh, but that's going to re require five bronze and a core oh we've got to we got to upgrade this thing okay hold on hold on uh what do we need to upgrade so we're going to need an an anvil, a forge cooler, and an 
Oh, the ads is for the workbench. Oh, that would allow us to then upgrade our bow even more. And it would also allow us to upgrade our troll armor if we're going to keep it for a while. I think we should make the ads. I mean, we should make it anyway, right? But, okay, here. Let's, um... Didn't one of those require... Uh, this one requires 10 copper and 25 fine wood for its cooler. That requires two bronze and a wood for the anvil. That requires three bronze. Um. Okay, well, I think what I want to do is I want to prioritize... I want to do the I want to do the ads next, and the reason for that is because then I can upgrade my troll armor and my bow. So let's make three bronze with that, and then we'll see where we're at after that. We'll probably we might run ourselves out of copper to make that other upgrade, but we'll see where we're at. Okay, so now if we go here in. We need 10 fine wood. Oh, geez, that thing's big. Um, what if we put it like this? Doesn't want to get real close to that, does it? Get it as close as we can. Okay. I'm going to put the tanning rack back here. Now, I'm going to put this. There we go. So that way we can still, you know, come into this side and not have all that stuff in the way. Cool. Now what we can do is we can grab this extra troll hide that we have and... Go into here and upgrade our troll gear to level 4, which is going to give us more armor. Oh, here. Oh, we can we, we can even upgrade it further, huh? I think the workstation, doesn't it go, like, all the way up to, like, level 8 or something? Fine wood bow is just going to need some fine wood and some core wood. We might have to go... Yeah, I don't have quite enough. Oh, wait, do I? Grab the deer hide. Upgrade. Yep, we can do it. Nice. Okay, so we have a level 4 fine wood bow now. A pierce of 41. Very good. The troll hide cape, we can... Do we still have five troll thingies? Yep, we do. Or the helmet. That's going to give us armor of 8. That's going to give us armor of 2. So this one, this already has six. This is, oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing, sorry. Armor of one, armor of two. So it we're going to get more armor by upgrading the helmet. Right? Because this will give us eight. It currently has six. It'll give us eight. This has one that, that'll only give us two if we upgrade it. That's not even hardly worth it, especially for five things. This is cheaper to upgrade, and it gives us more armor. That doesn't make sense. I don't know why that's the case. So that leaves us with four troll hide. So why the hell does this cost more hide, and it only gives you one more thing of armor? I don't get that. I don't even know what the point is in upgrading the troll hide cape. Hmm. Okay. Well. So we have to put this stuff back on, don't we? We don't have enough to do it right now anyway, so it's kind of a mood point. Um. Okay, let's put all that back in there. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, we've got our cultivator now, which is awesome. Let's put this core wood back in here. We've got some upgrades done, which we needed to do, and I think we're in pretty darn good shape at the moment. We do need to eat, though, so let's have a sausage, a cooked meat, and a queen's jam. Yeah, look how, how high up that brings our saturation bar. Very nice. Okay, so I wanted to, I just wanted to show you guys um, the mining, uh, strip mining operation that I got going on real quick. I was told in the comments a few videos ago to, to mi keep mining down after the copper rock is gone and I'll find more. And that has definitely been the case. So, um... There was a, a copper stone right about in this area when I started. And then, uh, so I mined it all out, and then I just started cutting down to the ground. And we, and we still do definitely find these copper deposit pockets, which is pretty cool. And some of it's even still, like, way up in here, too, which is what this business is all about. Uh, so it's, it's kind of underneath the big boulder there. So one of the next things I want to do as after we get some more is oh and what i would do is i i would go i don't have um i don't have a forge here to repair my pick so what i was doing was mining the copper until it ran out just storing it in here um we have seven more pieces there you know what let's nah i'll, I'll grab that later i was teleporting back repairing teleporting back here and wash rinsing and repeating until i had a full load and then i would have to carry the load back um in my inventory so that's kind of my mining operation at the moment but what I want to do now is um, let's plant let's plant a few carrots first and then and then we're gonna head to the to the south back down to the south base so I've got my cultivator uh, I want to get some carrot seeds so we have 21 carrot seeds here because I think once we start planting this, then we can make the carrot soup. So my plan is to, to turn this whole area out here into a garden. Um, and so part of that process is going to be turning this into, or, or flattening everything. So let me go through and, and flatten like a little garden area here. All right, so we got the garden area uh, finished here, nice and flat. Uh, so now let's go ahead and do some cultivating. Uh, maybe we'll start in this corner here. So this is my first time doing this. So we just, oh, okay. Pretty much just rake the, or hoe the ground. That's neat.
Okay, I think we're cultivated. Now, I don't know uh, what the spacing has to be on the carrots. Use carrot seeds on what? Do we just... Oh, okay. So, plant carrot seeds to grow carrots. Grass cultivate. Got it. Oh, I see. Okay. So, maybe we'll start in this corner. So, is there... Can you put them, actually put them that close together? Seems kind of weird. I'm going to space them out a little more. Okay, that's it. That plants all of our carrot seeds for now. Our carrots, rather. So hopefully we get more, we get seeds back uh, from them when we harvest them so we can continue growing more. If not, then, you know, we'll just have to go back to the Black Forest and get more. I'm going to have to put a little ramp or something on this little deal here too. But anyway, there we go. So we got ourselves a garden. All right. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to head back to the south base. We do have a forest is mo the forest is moving event going on there that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, so let's do that next. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I decided to just make the rest of my metal into bronze. Uh, so we can get some upgrades going. And uh, so what we're going to do is we have nine bronze in total. And what I want to do is I want to upgrade my pickaxe and my bronze axe. So we have just enough to do that. Oh, wait. We need to make a level two. We need to upgrade this to level two. That's the first thing we have to do before we can do that. Uh, I was going to do that, and I got sidetracked. So... Let's see. That means we need to make the anvil, the forge, a cooler, which t requires 10 copper, which we can no longer do. Well, I don't think we can. We don't have 10 copper left now, do we? Let's take a look. No, we only have one. So lots more mining in our future. Um, and then, so I guess it's just those two things that we can make. So we can make... If we do the forge improvement, we'll only be able to, well, we will only have enough bronze. Sorry, it's early in the morning, the, the next day in real life for me, by the way. <laughs> so I'm like, I uh, need more coffee. Um, I wonder though, you know what I think I'm going to do? I, I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to go mine up just enough more ore to do both of these upgrades and then get my axe and my pick upgraded so i'm gonna do that and then i'll bring you guys back uh after i'm done with that and then we'll go to the south base so i'll be back in a bit all right guys i am back um so it actually took me i don't know two or three in-game days uh, to gather up all this metal but i had i had to do some other things too uh in real life so um I'm not sure if we're going to make it uh, to the south base in this episode or not, because there's a couple more things uh, we want to do. Uh, the first thing I want to do, actually, is I want to go... Um, I got this weird thing going on with the bees. So I went and harvested all four of these beehives, and then as soon as I harvested, now it says the bees need more open space, except for this one here. So uh, I even slept overnight in the game, and it's still that way. So... I don't know if we've had an update or something that's changed, but I'm going to have to figure that situation out. Uh, maybe what I could do is move the beehives out here now that this is all fenced in and spread them out further along the fence here. Maybe we'll do that. But anyway, uh, we have some carrots now that are ready to pick. So, uh, you know what? I need my, I think I need my cultivator. So this will be my first time picking carrots. Now, I don't know if we get seeds from doing this. Or if we have to craft the seeds, kind of like you, what you would do in Seven Days to Die. I'm not sure how this will work. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So if we just pick the carrot. Now we have the carrot soup recipe. And it said it said new build piece seed. So I, my, my guess is that we take the carrots and we make seeds out of them. So I think that's what the deal is. So let's grab all of these here. Now, uh, we have a total of 21 carrots. So first of all, I want to see what it takes to make carrot soup. 
Okay, so we need three carrots and one mushroom. And how many do we get? It doesn't say how many we get. So let's let's make one. And then see, it, yeah, I, is this just a one per kind of thing? Well, we're going to find out in a second, aren't we? Yeah, it's just one per. Okay, so I think what I would like to do then is let's just cut the carrots in half. And we'll turn these carrots here into seeds. So let's put those away so we don't accidentally do uh, use them. And then we'll just craft up uh, the rest of these into three more things of soup. Okay. So this lasts for 1,500 seconds. It gives us 20 health and 60 stamina. So it lasts longer than the jam. And it gives us more stamina, but the jam gives us more health. All right, cool. So now let's take the seeds or the other carrots. And I, is this where we make them into seeds? How do we do that? Do we do that in the cauldron? Carrot soup. Um, is it something that we do with the cultivator? Ah, plant the carrot to get more seeds. Gotcha. Okay. So that's how that works. All right. So it seemed like our spacing was pretty good. Wait, are those? Okay, yeah. They might, we might be able to put them closer, but I mean, we, we've got a ton of room in this garden, so. Wow, okay, I might need, I might want to not make carrot soup for the first few harvests, just so we can get a bunch of these carrots made, because we actually have less now than we did to start with. I think I might also, let's go back in here for a second. I might also have a few more that I might have brought back from the Black Forest. Yeah, we have three more carrot seeds. It's kind of too bad you don't get um, more than a one-to-one -one ratio on seeds. Because that would be, you know, kind of, kind of what would happen in real life in most cases. Plant a carrot to get more seeds. Wait, what? We have carrot seeds. Plant these if you like carrots. Okay, wait a second. Plant carrot seeds to grow carrots. Plant a carrot to get more seeds. Oh, 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 oh. I see what's going on here. <clears throat> okay. So this is a seed carrot, and this is a carrot carrot. Okay. I wonder if we if we get more than one seed per thing. I guess we'll find out when they m mature. All right, now I see what's going on there. That's kind of cool. Hopefully we get more than just one per. Okay, cool. That's that's a, an interesting way uh, for them to do that. Okay. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to... Let's go ahead and eat some of this. We'll have some jam, that, and we'll have some sausage. Best food we've had to date uh, in the game. Very cool. Let's put the shrooms away over here. Now, uh, we, we want to make some upgrades. So, I've already made the anvil upgrade... And the next upgrade that we want to do for our crafting station is going to be the forge cooler. And we're going to need 10 copper for that. Yeah, this metal took quite some time to, to do. One thing I've noticed too is, you know, using the little strip mining method that I've been doing, it's uh, missing. Oh, we need fine wood. Um, it's a lot of work 
for not a whole lot of yield once you start digging down the ground. I mean, the copper is there, but, um, it, you know, it, it's not nowhere near as much as you get when you're just mining the rock up above. On the plus side, though, you're getting a stone, which we're going to need later on, and you're also getting, you know, pick skill. So it's still, I'm not saying it isn't worthwhile, but if you needed copper really quickly, that's it's better to just do, hit surface stones. Okay, cool. So we have a, now a level three station here um, and that means we could upgrade our uh, at gear if we wanted to and we've already upgraded the pick uh, I wanted to upgrade the axe and maybe the at gear so to do that we're gonna need four we're gonna need eight bronze in total and a leather scrap okay so let's go ahead and make here, let's just grab all of this So we want to make five bronze and then two more. Okay. And that leaves us still with um, this much tin and copper left over. Now we need to grab a, uh, just one of these I think is all we needed. And now we can upgrade our at gear, which, by the way, I've been using this, and I actually like it quite a bit. It uh, kicks ass and takes names, as long as you mind your stamina with it, you know, of course. All right, nice. So I want to get this upgraded to level, uh, to the next level two, just because, you know, of the durability on it. Um, but that means we would need tin bronze, and we do not have enough to make tin bronze, because it takes two copper and one tin. So I'm going to probably just leave these metals unbronzified for now. We do have an extra piece of bronze there. And um, one thing I should probably do is take six copper with me and build a forge at the mining site up here. Uh, which, by the way, I completely depleted. I got all the way down to bedrock in this uh, first mine. And my, you know, my little forts right here. So I need to take this apart and move it up to here because I have two copper nodes right next to each other. Uh, I've kind of been all the way through this part of the Black Forest and there isn't any more copper close to where I'm currently at. There is, you know, one way back in the woods here, but that's quite a ways back that direction. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at with all that. Okay, so hey, we've, we've made some really nice progress in this episode. We got our garden planted. Uh, we got some upgrades on our bronze tools, and um, we're doing pretty good. So, um, I mean, we we could go down to the south base, I guess. You know what? Actually, let's let's just go down there now, and we will. Yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to move these. Uh, what we'll do is we'll fight off the the forest is moving event. And then I'll probably end the episode there. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to move these beehives out to here, like I mentioned. And then I'll meet you guys down uh, at the base, uh, in the south base. And we will uh, do that event, and then we'll wrap up this episode. So I'll see you guys down there. All right, guys, we are ready to go here. Um, so what we need to do is unlink this um oh i guess we just have to see what was this i think it was called trader base and now it says it's connected and as soon as we get uh over there looks like we need more carrot soup i want to make sure our food is completely topped off here um we should have that the forest is moving event i pretty much as soon as it happened i it, it happened right when i was walking through the portal so we're gonna have to do the whole event here. Um, let's see if we can get these guys somewhat grouped up because then we can do our AOE attack. Oh, I need to have this out first if I'm going to actually do the AOE attack. So, see that's very, <laughs> that's very effective. I love it. Uh, we just have to watch the stamina on it is all. Didn't even give that guy a chance to do anything. 
Alright, so we got two of you. Yeah, this, uh, this A, A gear, A gear, however you, oh, or at gear, sorry. Man, this thing is powerful. It's a really nice weapon, and I upgraded this to level two also. Alright, we have to be careful with, uh, the brute, of course. So let's get the trash out of the way. Ah, shoot. That's not what I needed to have happen. Okay, here. Let's do an AoE. I'd like to kill this guy. There we go. Okay, he's gone. Get the little guy out of the... Oh, stamina. Yeah. It does use stamina, so, I mean, everything does, of course, but this really uses a lot of stamina, so you have to kind of watch that. Oh, shit. No, don't go in the water. Okay, let's kill this guy. Let's get the little guy out of the way here. Okay, now we just have the brute to deal with. So we'll kite him around just a little bit here. Let's put this away, so... I think that'll help our stamina regen just a little quicker, and then we'll take this guy on. Okay. Yeah, pretty much just at this point, you know, with where I'm at, you know, with my stamina and, and uh, weapon skill and all that, it's one parry, hit, block, one parry, hit, block. In other words, don't try and get two hits off on that guy because he almost always whacks me every time that happens. Okay, so I think we have gotten through the forest is moving event and... Um, Let's take a look and see. Okay, so I already have a forge here, which is great. And um, let's set this as the spawn point for while, while we're going to be here for a while. And the next order of business, guys, is to get started on our south base. So if you didn't see the earlier episode where we talked about that, uh, we're going to build in this little cove here. And... Um, you know, probably have the house. You know, we had a guy stuck in the stone up here. Is he still? Yeah, he's still in there. How in the hell am I supposed to deal with that? I guess we'll just have to make sure we don't come too close to him. Because I, I mean, I can't. I don't think I can kill him through the stone, can I? I shouldn't be able to, but he shouldn't be stuck in there either. Yeah. There's, in fact, there's two archers in there. All right, well, we're just going to have to stay away from that particular area. Uh, did we already loot the chest in here? I can't remember. Uh, is there even a chest in here to loot? I don't think... Oh, there's a beehive. Okay, well, we'll worry about that later. So what I was saying, yeah, is we're going we're gonna to build our <clears throat> south base here in this little tiny cove. Uh, and have the base go out over the water. So I'm going to put some long, um, you know, core wood logs down as our pylons. And then, oh shit, there's a troll over there. And probably have it come up to this level-ish right in here. And then I'll flatten out a little bit of an area over here uh, to, to work with that. Now, we need to also kill this spawner over here too. I was thinking about doing that, but not... Not with that troll there. Is that a log troll or a rock troll? Rock trolls are a lot easier to kill than log trolls. He's a log troll. Doggone it. Okay. Well, that's something we'll have to deal with uh, in the next episode because we are out of time for this episode. And so, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.